Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another grocery haul and meal plan. So it has been forever since you guys have seen me do a grocery haul and meal plan. I have been just running around like crazy and really haven't had time for much of anything. With all that said, I spent about $56 at Kroger. I did the Kroger pickup, which if you guys have not tried that, it's absolutely amazing. Um, similar to the Walmart pickup, but you can use coupons, you can submit for Ibotta and all of, that, the, all of those things that you can't do with Walmart grocery pickup. All right, guys, I wanted to show you really quick what the Kroger website basically looks like. So you guys know I love the Kroger grocery pickup. It is seriously a lifesaver. It is very similar to the Walmart grocery pickup, which I've done before, except for with the Walmart grocery pickup, you can't use coupons, you can't do Ibotta, you can't use Fetch Rewards, you can't use all of those. And I feel like sometimes I'm missing out when I do the Walmart grocery pickup because I'm not able to do some of those things. And there's not like a weekly ad like there is in Kroger. So I'm just going to take you through the website really quick and show you how I do it. Um, so basically you just type in any item you want. So you can go just do milk. Um, I'm just going to do milk just as a fake one just to show you. So once you type it in, it shows you all the things that have milk in it. So obviously there's the milk chocolate stuff, but just the regular gallon of milk, you add it to your cart. It'll also show you there if you have any coupons for it. Um, and then you can also go here to save and then digital coupons and it'll show you all the coupons that you're able to load to your cart. Um, so you can also use paper coupons to do the pickup, but this is obviously the easiest way. You just load them to your card and it automatically takes them off. So you see I saw one for the Richard's peanut butter. Then I saw these. This just has completely free, a best customer bonus. And so Pop-Tarts and then hummus, just completely free for not even doing anything. You just don't have to buy anything, just completely free. So you can see there's coupons on everything like food, paper products, health and beauty stuff. So crazy, like the things that they'll give you coupons for. Um, and then if you don't have a coupon, on digital but you have a paper coupon you can give them that as well. I did want to show you the weekly ad so Kroger has a cool thing where it lets you see the current weekly ad and then the upcoming weekly ad so if there's anything you want to buy you can check and see if it's going to be on sale next week and save your money and not buy it this week so I just wanted to show you that as well if you've never looked at the Kroger website this is also on the Kroger app but I just wanted to show you guys here on the website so also the pickup is free for the next couple of weeks so definitely take advantage of it normally you do your first three free and then after that you have to pay uh, but I think it's only like three or four dollars um, so then you go here and if you have like a long list of stuff you will just go to checkout and that's so I'm gonna start over here I got some broccoli just I was supposed to be two broccoli crowns um, but I only got one but that's okay it's a pretty big one um, and then jalapenos so I put on the website too because I thought it was per each but it's per pound so I got two pounds of jalapenos and I only needed two um so I'm gonna have to find something else to do with these um this week but I got those I got some romaine hearts for salads some celery hearts for snacking two things of beef broth I'm gonna be making a vegetable soup type thing so I got two things of beef broth, beef broth for that one thing of ground chicken. This is probably the recipe this week that I'm most excited about, and I'll get it over. I will go over that in the meal plan. Um, but I needed ground chicken for that, and then this Purdue Fresh and All Natural Chicken Breast was actually on sale for a dollar eighty eight a pound. So instead of seven thirty nine, it was two seventy eight. So I went ahead and got two packs here, and I think I'm gonna before the sale ends go back and get some more because that is a very good deal, and I like it in the individually packed portions as opposed to like the big ones. And this is um, one hundred percent vegetarian fed, no animal byproducts, cage free, no hormones, hormones, and no antibiotics. So definitely a great deal for a dollar eighty eight a pound. The normal like Kroger chicken is a dollar ninety nine. So definitely a great deal for that. I got some broccoli cuts and some chopped onions. Um, when I do use onions, I just like to use these, especially in the bottom in the base of like a vegetable soup. I like to go ahead and put these in there because then I don't have to chop them. Cuts the time in half for sure. Um, and then I got two things of the Powerade Zero. I am coaching a softball team, another thing that's taking a lot of my time. So I wanted to have these to have on the field um, and for when I'm starting back on keto in case I get any of those keto flu symptoms to kind of get some electrolytes in. I got three blocks of the Philadelphia brand cream cheese. If you're new to keto, the Philadelphia brand has the least amount of carbs as opposed to the store brand. So um, I definitely go ahead and pay the extra price to get the Philadelphia brand. Um, I did get one of the Black Forest hams, just the Kroger brand. The Hormel pepperoni. I saw a uh, <clears throat> recipe where you can take this and put it in the microwave, actually. And it makes it like a little crispy chip. And there's zero carbs in here and the... Um, as far as the ingredients are pretty good. So I did get the Kroger brand originally and they substituted me for the Hormel, which was my only substitution. So that was pretty awesome. I got two big things of Parmesan cheese. Um, two different recipes call for Parmesan. One is with the ground chicken. Another one is with pork chops. 
And I'm super excited for both of those. So I got two things of Parmesan cheese, a big block of the mozzarella, and a really big block of the sharp cheddar. This is the 32 ounce, two pounds. Um, it's $5.99, I think, for two pounds, which comes out to less per pound than the individual ones. I'm gonna go ahead and shred this up before I even put it in the refrigerator so that it's easy to grab out of the fridge. Um, and then, like I said, this is the 16 ounce of the mozzarella. I got two different kinds of pickles. These are my favorite pickles to snack on. I like the Clawson sandwich slices. They're like the thinner ones, not like the big spears. So I got those. This is my favorite brand of pickle in the entire world. Um, and then obviously in less than one carb for a pickle. So I got that. This is what I'm going to use for a recipe. I have a couple different recipes. Those are kind of pricey as far as pickles are concerned. So I wanted to get these to use when I use, when I do like the cheeseburger casserole and the cheeseburger meatloaves and stuff. Just to put these in the um, casserole casseroles and stuff when I'm cooking so you so that I don't have to use the expensive ones. So I went ahead and got that. I'm um, got a couple of pantry kind of stock up items. First is the Dunkin' Donuts French Vanilla K-Cups. I um, just went ahead and got these to use with the Jordan Skinny Syrups and Heavy Cream for my coffee. I got two of the Kroger brand cut green beans, a thing of Texas Pete. I'm gonna start doing my favorite thing, which is the celery with cream cheese and hot sauce. You guys, seriously don't knock it till you try it. It is so, so good. I got a thing of the Crazy Richards 100% Peanuts Creamy Peanut Butter. I got a thing of Dijon Mustard, which I realized I didn't need, but I got it anyways. And then this was actually incorrect. I ordered a um, 16 ounce thing of heavy cream and got half and half. So I'm going to have to get that switched out. Um, I got a thing of the Wishbone Creamy Caesar. This is just one carb for two tablespoons. I'm sure there's better ones out there, but that's the one that I saw and I was trying to do the pickup quick. So that's one I got. And then I got a thing of Worcestershire sauce for a recipe. So that is everything that I picked up from Kroger. And now let's get into the meal plan. All right, guys, this is the meal plan from December 2nd through the 8th. So I just kind of went through, I am doing intermittent fasting in the morning, so there won't be anything written for breakfast. Um, but for lunch on Monday, I'll let it be know I work for Chick-fil-A, so I'm gonna have a Cobb salad. Um, if you get the Cobb salad with grilled chicken, no corn, and no tomatoes, then it is definitely keto friendly. Um, and then mini cheeseburger meatloaves from the Southern Keto Cookbook for dinner. And for snacks, I've mentioned this before, I just kind of put what we're gonna have on hand or what I'm gonna prep. Um, and then for snacks and dessert so that I have the options. Um, and just to give you guys um, an idea of what I eat for like a midday snack. So celery with cream cheese and also down here I have celery with peanut butter. I, I love those two options. Sometimes I will put a hot sauce on the celery with cream cheese just to add a little kick and it is so, so good. Um, Tuesday for lunch, I don't like to eat at work every day because I get tired of the food there. So I'm going to bring leftovers of the mini cheeseburger and meatloaves for lunch. And then we're also having green beans with that. I don't think I put it, but um, then on Tuesday we'll do um, par Parmesan crusted pork chops, either in the air fryer or in the oven. I haven't decided with the leftover green beans. And then I made some pepperoni chips, which is basically you just put pepperoni in the oven. Ooh, I bet you could do that in the air fryer. I'll have to try that. Um, and then Wednesday, the grilled chicken club at Chick-fil-A with American cheese, no bun, is only two net carbs, I think. Um, and it's just basically grilled chicken. Um, and then there is lettuce and tomato if you want that. And then cheese and bacon. Um, so obviously no bun for that. Um, and then I'll do leftovers of this stuff for dinner. Um, I've been kind of almost doubling these recipes because I've been loving having leftovers on the nights that I work late or have something to do uh, after work. So celery with peanut butter. For lunch, I'm just gonna bring like a little snack plate, adult lunchable type thing. That's one of my favorite things to do, it's so easy. Um, I'll just do like some chicken salad or egg salad and then I'll do either boiled eggs or anything really that I have in the fridge that I wanna use up. Um, and then chicken crust pizza, which is why I got that ground chicken. It's gonna be so good, you guys, I'm so excited. And then I've been on a kick of these cheesecake brownies. I am, I promise, gonna make a video for that soon. I'm, I promise, I've been wanting to do that and it's on my vlogmas schedule. So I definitely will do that. Um, Cobb salad for lunch, jalapeno popper chicken in the air fryer. Um, it's actually bacon wrapped jalapeno popper chicken. Um, and then the Smart Company bake, uh, little cupcakes I've showed you guys before. Um, I'll have a link to that in the description box as always. Leftovers on the weekends is one of my favorite things to do because I don't have the energy really or the time to cook and I don't want to buy new stuff when we have stuff in our fridge to get ready for the next week and then boiled eggs and pumpkin seeds 
for a snack and then adult lunchable again on Sunday. Leftovers, clean out the fridge, really anything that's left, we'll go ahead and eat that on the weekend. And then pickles and I have a lot of little snacky things. So that's the meal plan for this week. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week.